It has not been a rosy experience for many e-hailing passengers who had had to pay heavily than usual to commute from one place to the other in this month of December. A Plus TV advocate Mary Chinder takes a look at this and seeks to provide explanation for the surge. Her report. The hustle and bustle associated with increased movement during the festive season in Lagos is evident. There is an attendant rise in the demand for commercial taxes and the surge associated with it on major Nigerian e-hailing platforms, Uber and Boat. Fares that should naturally cost about 5,000 naira now goes for as high as 10,000 naira from one end of Lagos Island to Lagos mainland. This boat driver, Harrison Ezekiel, offers some explanations. Now, like before, a lot of people want to move from one place to the other, like markets, you know, people want to buy things. And that's when you have um, like um, 10,000 10, um, riders and you have about um, 5,000 drivers, there is no how the demand will be increased. So that's what I say about the surge. You have much demand, so by January, everything will go back to normal. And passengers continue to be at the receiving end. Today, maybe because of the festive season and maybe because of the fuel hike, pushing it to the end user without any warning whatsoever. We get that they have to put these prices somewhere, have to put the cost somewhere. But without any warning, I think it's kind of tough, you know, because this, we, we and these guys aren't getting any increments in salary visit that's a match. It doesn't make any sense, considering the economy. I think if they can at least reduce the fare, for, okay, like this period, the road is not as busy as it used to be. The question is, at whose expense should this bonanza for drivers be? According to many passengers, not only is the increase unjustifiable, it should also be a call for these platforms to be better regulated, including price control. So in a sane society, this would not, it's just unimaginable that this will happen. People really want to go out and you don't have much drivers around. So for you not to be stranded where you are, they surge the app. As the yule tide continues, especially with only a few days to New Year's Day, a common suggestion for persons who can no longer afford to pay the high cost for e-hailing cabs is just to take a bus. From Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.